structure of a leaf in this module you will learn about the structure of a leaf sid is busy doing his school project his sister alicia has just joined him let us go and see what the project is all about wow so many leaves of different shapes and sizes why have you collected all these leaves i have collected these for my school project can i watch the project please of course you can look carefully you can see that leaves have different shapes and sizes some trees like the peepal tree have large leaves while others like the rose plant have small leaves even though leaves look different they have a common structure let us study about it a leaf is made up of different parts these are the leaf blade petiole midrib veins and stomata let us learn about each of them one by one the flat and broad part of the leaf is called the leaf blade the leaf blade is attached to the stem of the plant through a tiny stalk called the petiole the petiole takes the water from the stem to the leaf blade a thick line runs the center of a leaf towards its tip this is the central vein also known as the midrib there are numerous tiny lines that run throughout the leaf they are called veins all these veins along with the midrib provide shape and support to a leaf they also carry water to the different parts of a leaf a number of tiny openings are present on the surface of a leaf these tiny openings are called stomata they help a leaf to exchange gases they take carbon dioxide gas from the air and release oxygen let's recap a leaf is made up of different parts that include the leaf blade petiole midrib veins and stomata the leaf blade is the flat and broad part of a leaf the midrib is the thick line running through the center of a leaf veins are the tiny lines running throughout a leaf the petiole is the stalk that connects the leaf blade of a leaf with the stem stomata are the tiny openings present on a leaf